the father of Indian nuclear physics, Homi J. Bhabha. My success will not depend on what A or B thinks of me. My success will be what I make of my work. Beautifully quoted by Homi J. Bhabha. Introduction Homi J. Bhabha, also known as Homi Jahangir Bhabha, was born on October 30th, 1909 in Bombay, now Mumbai, and died on January 24th, 1966, aged 56, in Mont Blanc, France. Homi Bhabha was an Indian physicist who was the principal architect of the country's nuclear energy program. Born into a rich aristocrat family, Bhabha went to the University of Cambridge in England in 1927, originally to study mechanical engineering, but once there, he developed a strong interest in physics. Armed with an honours degree, he started his research in 1930 at the Cavendish Laboratories in Cambridge and in 1935 obtained a doctorate. When World War II broke out in 1939, Bhabha was in India on a holiday. With Europe in turmoil, he decided to stay and at the behest of physicist Sir Chandra Shekhar Vikanta Raman, director of the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, he joined the institute as a reader in physics in 1940. A visionary, Bhabha realized that the development of nuclear energy was crucial for the future industrial growth of the country as the available sources of power and energy were limited. Funded by businessman J.R.D. Tata, Indian nuclear research began with the inception of Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in 1945 with Baba at the helm, appointed chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission instituted by the Government of India in 1948, Baba was instrumental in setting up the atomic energy established in Trombe. All the scientists conducting research in nuclear power and related areas were transferred from TIFR to this institute. After the death of Baba in an air crash on Mont Blanc in 1966, the institute was renamed the Baba Atomic Research Center by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi in his memory. Baba's contribution to the development of atomic energy made him a significant figure in international scientific circles. He served as President of the United Nations Conference on the Peaceful Uses of Atomic Energy in 1955 and as the President of International Union of Pure and Applied Physics from 1960 to 1963. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel, What's of Genius.